right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are watching this video and you're already subscribed, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it so, so much. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing because I have another DIY video for you and many, many more to come. So, I was checking my videos and I am humbly overwhelmed. The first DIY video I put out, the views on that video just humbled me. I am so appreciative of all of you who watched that video and liked that video. <sighs> I just love you guys. So now, I have another DIY for you, and this DIY is called uh, Pocket Theory Tree. That's what I'm calling it. Pocket Theory Tower, Tree, what have you. But I will show you um, what you're going to need to complete this and show you the steps to completion. And I promise... I'll try to do it without getting myself burned or getting you burned because, yeah, I got a burn uh, from my first DIY video. Oh, my God. I'm going to show you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well. Right? That red thing right there. See it? Oh, my God. I swear, I was pulling the glue gun away and the hot glue came like Spider-Man's web and went and it left. It looked kind of looks like a question mark, really, <laughs> but that thing hurts. It hurts. I was sleeping and it must be the skin came off when I was sleeping. I woke up and my arm was burning. I'm like, oh my God, I cannot even handle this right now. I'm never touching hot glue again. Yes, I am. Right now, as a matter of fact. So, let's get into your supplies that you, you will need. The first one is, of course, hot glue gun. <laughs> and it fell over. Stay. Then you're going to need some hot glue sticks. I use the larger ones. There's skinnier ones. There's some with glitter. There's some with color. Whatever you choose. And then always, always, always this tool. The burn preventer. It didn't work that way for me, but I'm praying today I do not get burned. And then next you're going to need some scissors because you're going to be cutting diamond wrap. This big old ball of diamond wrap. I can see it. It is so beautiful. I got this on Amazon. I think it was like $13, but look at all of that. It is just humongous. It is. That's a lot of bling wrap. So and then up next, of course, you're going to need jars. And I chose these jars. They all have lids. And they're not very tall. And it took me a half an hour to get them stupid stickers off the bottom. But the easiest way to get those stickers off of glass is to run some hot water in a little pan where your jars will fit in it. And put some dish soap in there and let them soak for 5-10 minutes and then they should just wipe right off. And then you won't have those pesky tags on there. And then last but not least, you're going to need these napkin rings. Now, I get these at 
Dollar Tree too. You get four of them for a dollar. So you're gonna need uh, two, four, five of them for this project. And that is about it. So now I tried this project every which way I could swing it. And I found the best way for me. Now you could do it differently. Of course, it, you, it's your project. You can do it the way that you see fit. But I originally, I'm going to set it up and then bring you guys down so you can see it. But I originally was going to do it like similar to this. And I'm holding it because it won't stay. So I'm going to bring it down so you can see. I was originally going to do it like that. Bring it back. But it just is so wobbly. So I thought, okay, why not do it like this? Why not? Just set it, you know, you know, stack it and stack it. And I think I might do two actually, so that will make it even taller. So let me know what you think in the comments about which way you're going to try to do it. And let's just get in and get started. So I'm going to bring you guys down to my level so that you can see, kind of get a hands-on approach. <laughs> Oh, goodness, this thing has lost its mind. All right. So, now, oh, goodness. Sorry, guys. First off, we're going to start with our first jar, and I'm going to take my napkin ring, and I'm going to glue it right to the top of this. And it looks like it goes right around that edge. So I'm going to go in around that edge. And just stick it on there. There. Actually, it makes it better, kind of bigger to take the lid off, too. That's pretty cool. Okay. So now I'm going to do my next napkin ring. Now, like I said, you could leave it just like this and then put another one on top and call it a day. I like the height. I like the definition in between. And I think I'm going to try it this way. I think it'll work. So let's give it a try. You're going to need, um, oh, I got to reload my gun. My glue gun, that is. So then we're going to go on the very edge of this napkin ring. And just a little, little stream of it. Because it'll start leaking down the sides. And it may very well just do that. It may very well leak down the sides. But at least if you put a little on it, then... It won't go as bad. It won't leak as bad around the sides. And I will show you a way to cover that up, even if it does leak. But there is how that looks now. And you can see a little bit of glue here. But I'm going to show you how to clean that up and cover it up so no one will ever know. So I think this is cute. Look at that. Isn't that cute? You can just take it off and on. That is so cute. Oh, just loving it. Just loving it. Okay, so now the next step is to put our second jar on top. And we are going to go around the ring again because I don't want to guess the size on the jar. This way, I know how big I should go with the ring of the hot glue gun. 
and it will stick perfectly and we won't have to worry about guessing because lord knows i just do not i'm not good at guessing try and get it as center as possible put a little bit of pressure on it just so oh, that's pretty even just so we get that glue stuck to it okay so now i'm gonna bring you up some more so that you can see the top what do you guys think it's pretty cool so far okay so now our next two napkin rings remember we're gonna put two napkin rings here and glue them but first i'm gonna put you guys up a little further because i'm sorry but you guys are a little short right now so here we go all right that's much better okay now i'll bring you just down a smidge so you can see what i'm working on all right so we got both our jars and look at that your lid comes off perfectly you stick your lid back on okay now on to our next napkin ring you want to go around those ridges because the napkin ring sits just inside just inside so we're gonna go around the ridges and I hope that you guys like this video I'm trying to come up with some unique things to do on this channel give it a little bit of pressure make sure it stays where it's supposed to I just like how this does that that is just the cutest thing you want to get your q-tips out of the bottom you could just get your q-tips and put the lid back on awesome awesome okay now for the next napkin ring up here and this is it's pretty tall but I think you put it in your bathroom and it's just you and you know your significant other whoever I just think that it would be a really nice addition to your bathroom you get some glue on there and like I said I'm gonna show you how to cover up them sides where it's leaking doggone it this thing is drunk or something where it's leaking and that way it'll get covered up with the diamond wrap so nobody will even know <laughs> all right looking good so far Let's see if i can get some of that glue off of there the glue really does peel right off of the plastic or metal so that's a plus uh, there it is so far there's the part we just finished and then there and the bottom all right last jar is going on top so i'm gonna move you up all right well you're up a little too high there we go perfect 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 so now this one's gonna go on top perfect absolutely perfect here we go time for the last step sometimes this glue has a mind of its own so you just kind of gotta go with the flow i guess and see that one's trying to escape and i will not let him escape get on there glue this is how I got burnt last night, so I'm going to be a little careful with that testy little gun today. Make sure you get it on as straight as you possibly can. And I think, what do you think? I think it's straight. I think it's straight. All right. So that's the top. And I may actually put another one of those up here because these are so little. And 
I have my hands hurt. I think I got arthritis in my hands. So I think it would be much easier with a bigger uh, knob. I guess we could call it a knob. But this is awesome. Look at that. Just awesome. And the bottom one, you need something, take it out, put the lid back on. I really like this project. So I will bring you down slowly so you can see the full effect. And here is the top one. And there's the second one. And on the bottom is the third one. Now, so as I get you guys straight, and I'm really sorry about the crazy camera, crazy camera lady, crazy camera lady, I have decided I am going to put another ring on the top because it's just so small. So I think that looks perfect. So we're going to get some glue on there. Make sure we get it so it keeps our knob on. There we go. Come on, glue. No, no, no. You're not getting me this time. And then just stick your knob on there. Hold it down for a few seconds. And it shall be stuck. Let's hope. I love doing these little tiny projects. They are so much fun, and it doesn't take a long time, you know. You get it done, and you don't have to wait five days for it to dry, or, you know. I just like these little projects. They, they are so fun. Okay. I got, I got a glue mishap here, see? It's sticking out there, but that's something that, you know, you can take care of, and you can get it off of there. So, now I want to show you what I'll be doing with that wonderful diamond wrap. I have already pre-cut for around the jar. Um, when you get your jars, just get your diamond wrap and then just measure around where you want to put it. Where you think it'll look the best or the nicest, or give you that effect that you want, you know? And this is so easy. It's a great starting out project. If you're just starting to D, to do, to D, to do D, DIYs, this is perfect. It's so simple. You won't get too frustrated unless you do the daggone glue get you. It's just simple, easy, and instantly gratifying. Because it literally took us, what, five, six minutes to put this together? And it is together. It's together. So... I hope you give it a try, because once you start doing these, you're going to be like, that's it, i got to make something else. Because I already have one of these in my bathroom. And it holds my Q-tips and cotton swabs and cotton pads and all that stuff. Yeah. So, you will definitely make more. And find more places for them to go because in a pocket theory jar you, you can use it for whatever you want it's your jar it doesn't have to be used for herbs or what have you put it wherever you want to so now i am going to attach my diamond wrap and my diamond wrap is going to go around here i want to Bling it out. So let me put this on and then I'll show you how it looks. Now I lay mine down, down on the side. My lid fell off. It's just easier to work with. When it's standing up in the air, it's just like your arms are up, your arms start hurting, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean. 
<laughs> and so uh, I'll bring you down so you can see what I'm doing. How's that? There we go. Can you see? There. So I just put a little dab on there. Just enough. Where's my don't get burned tool? Just lay it on there. Get over there. And then push it up there. There we go. A little bit of glue over there that I do not want on me. I will wait for it to dry. Then I just kind of roll my jar or whatever you're working on. And then you can start putting a strip of hot glue. And then just let this lay right down on top of that hot glue. Take your uh, no burn tool and push them down, push them over. You know, if you want them closer, you want them further apart, that, this is when you do that. So now we're gonna do another strip of hot glue. Can you see me? Hopefully you can see me. And I just go about there. Just like four or five of these diamond wraps at a time. Just so I don't get ahead of myself and then they start going crazy on me and going where they wanna go and not where I want them. So, and then, oh, my lid fell off. Then we roll it again. It looks like we're nearing the end. Yes, we are. Okay. I got, got a hot glue string here. Oh. Stay together. There we go. Now we'll do more hot glue down there. And all the way to the end. Then we just bring it up like this. There we go. First jar accomplished. And I also use these because they, they open like tweezers and I can pull off those little pieces of glue. Get rid of them. There we go. How's that look? bring it closer and bring you up how does that look isn't that just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen look at that bling it's beautiful just beautiful so our jar still comes apart still comes apart so now the next thing is I am going to put some diamond wrap around here. I know I always do the most, the most extra every time, but I just want you to know that you, I know you, you're making it for yourself and you definitely want to make it the way you want it, not the way you want people to see it, you know, and that I'm a firm believer in that. You just, it's your design. You're the designer. So you just design it the way you want it designed. So I'm going to bring this back down, show you this part. And I hope that you guys are liking this video. So now you start this the same way we did this one. One little dab. There we go. This on there the way I want it before I put it in that glue and just let it fold over into the glue there we go you see that Isn't that beautiful just beautiful my lid wants to keep coming off there we go all right so then we hold this up again and we run our glue you know four or five diamond wraps down and hold it, straighten it out. Make sure it's where you want it because that glue dries fast 
and you don't want it to dry and then you have to take it apart not the whole thing but you know pull your diamond wrap back up okay now we're going to turn our jar again come on there we go and back to the gluing glue it four or five diamond wraps down uh oh sorry about that noise guys my glue gun fell over again it does that to me all the time and we got that on there we're gonna turn it again I got glue all over me darn it oh yeah. boy I'll tell you this glue gun and me are gonna fight all right get in there okay now grab your diamond wrap again get your glue gun ready and go all the way to the end this time because we are at the end of the first jar okay now you want to pull it. Whoa, you don't want it to roll like that. You definitely don't want it to roll like that. The diamond wrap there. There we go. There we go. And it is finished. All right. Let me bring you guys back up. What do you think? That is fantabulous. Just gorgeous. I absolutely love this design. This is awesome. It is so sparkly. Look at that. It just shines. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. So pretty. So, what'd you guys think? Did you like it? Do you want it? Maybe, let me finish the rest of it with you. I want to do that because I feel like I need to finish the rest with you. So, I'm going to bring you back downstairs. <laughs> Uh-oh, my lid fell off. My lid fell off. Hang on, my lid fell off. I can't believe my damn lid fell off. I got it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> we might be okay now. I don't know. Oh, goodness. This is just... All right. So, I fixed my lid. Now, we have to finish putting our bling wrap on. So, I'm going to bring it back down so we can finish this up all right let's get down there okay we have this bottom one to finish here we go and there we go i promise i will get this whole video recording <laughs> stuff down i hope i'm trying to be as professional as I can. There we go. How about that? Because we're working over here. So, okay. So now we're going to put it on the metal, the lid. And we're just going to do a little stream. And then put our first one down. There we go. And they kind of just lay right on there. And then all you have to do is turn it. And they just, you don't really, on this project, have to touch the glue that much. I've done projects where, oh my gosh, by the time I get done doing them, every one of my fingers are burned. So, but we will get into harder uh, DIYs after a couple of the easier ones because I had to start with the easier ones for myself to learn. So if you're not new to DIYs, then you know what I'm talking about. You don't want to start out making, you know, this big old art project and it's the size of a billboard when you should be starting at the beginning. Oh, listen, lid. 
Oh, goodness. Stay on, lid. Thank you. All right. Stay up, glue gun. Oh, I find myself talking to these things more often than not. <laughs> okay. We got just a couple of little pieces here. And if it's a little long, because this one is a little long, um, there goes my lid. I'm just going to leave that lid off. It's a little longer than it's supposed to be, the overlaps here. What I would do is just take, glue the first one down, because I don't know if you notice, but there are um, little pieces of thread in between. I think you can see it. And that would mean that you can put it down and then slide it over. As a matter of fact, I'll do it. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I'll do it. I'll show you. I'll just put one little dab down and then I'll show you how I do it because it has that uh, fabric in between. So you can move it right over, push it over, and then you still have this one. And now this one will fit in there absolutely perfectly. You just push it down down push it over and in there we go there and they're perfectly and no one will ever know that it was a little too long I just love this diamond wrap it's so awesome all right now we are on the last the bottom part the bottom part we have one more string and we are going to get that out of the way so that we may do a little bit of decorating in between to cover up the glue on the in-between here. So run your line down as far as you're comfortable with and start your first little bling and keep rolling until you reach the end of your glue. Make sure they're all on there. Then flip that back over. We're gonna do this. More glue. Little line. Stand up, glue gun. Grab our beads here. And then just lay them down gently over your glue. Now, flip them back over and more glue. Looks like I need more glue in my glue gun. And we are just going to take our diamond wrap, push it down, and voila done and done okay let me stand her up put the other piece back on and what do you all think is it a winner <laughs> look at that look at how beautiful that is look at that that is the bottom where it sits on your counter. And then you have one. You can take your lid off, get your Q-tips out, put your lid back on, and go about your business. Now, if you have Q-tips in the second one, take your lid off, get your Q-tips, put your lid back on, and be done. There we have it. This is a top lid. This works so much better for the lid than that little tiny thing in there. I think it works so much better. It just sits right on there. All these jars I got from Dollar Tree. Napkin holders are from Dollar Tree. Glue gun, glue sticks, my scissors, 
everything's from Dollar Tree. The only thing that isn't from Dollar Tree is my diamond wrap. Unfortunately, Dollar Tree doesn't have the big, or er, bigger diamond wrap, but I just love this. This is so pretty. But we're not done yet. I always have to do the most. And I think I want to do a little bit more. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now I have this ribbon. I love this ribbon. Kind of reminds me of a garter belt, but it's not a garter belt. I was thinking, what if we put it around here? And I will bring it up so you can see. What do you think? I think I like that. So I'm going to bring it down just a little smidgen so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to measure this. By measure it, I'm not pulling out a ruler. I'm just going to see how much where I need to cut it. So that looks about right. So I'm going to cut it at that point. So because I have another side of this set here, but I also have this one. I want to put it on both. So I'm going to cut the next strip just as long as the first strip. And then I don't have to measure again. And it just makes things go faster if you prep, you know, your pieces that you're going to use. And you can zip through this in no time at all. So now we are going to snip that. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to put this on there. With glue gun, of course. So, we are going to, well, I'll start back here. I need a glue, a glue stick. <laughs> oh, I feel so unorganized in these videos sometimes. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. It'll get better, right, guys? It'll get better. I think I'm going to lay this down and then have you guys come down because it just seems to be so much easier to do it that way. And then you can see exactly what I'm doing. So here we are. I'm going to put that ribbon right through here to cover up that, that seam, I guess I want to say. Because no matter what and no matter what you do with the glue gun, I don't care how good you are, you're always going to have a little drip or, you know, a string because they're like strings of like hair. And this is where I'm going to use my tool because I do not want to get burnt. I have enough burns and I thank you very much, hot glue. But now do you see how I'm pushing it down in the middle because it's going to make that ribbon rise up on the sides and just be the most beautiful thing in the world. Okay, now just like our diamond wrap, fold it back that way, and then we will start another string of hot glue. And we will flip it back over, run it right down the center of that, right down the center. I have hot glue strings all over the place. Ooh. Okay, now I just push it down like that. And we are almost done with this one. Flip it back over. Run your hot glue in the middle of the two napkin rings. And flip it over. And this kind is stretchy, so I can kind of stretch it over. There's my tool. Get my tool out and just push it down in the middle so that that bow comes out. Oh my God, this is so pretty. So pretty. I'm going to bring it up so you guys can see the full effect of that pretty bow. Isn't that just so pretty? I just love that. It's got that little extra feminine touch with the pretty ribbon. It's just so 
beautiful. Okay, so now we have another seam that we need to cover up. So I'm going to put her on her side, bring it down just a little bit. And we have our other one already pre-cut. Going to put a little dab in there. And put that right down the center of that seam. That's where you want it, right in the center, so that your ribbon just, it fits perfectly in that area. It just fits absolutely perfectly. Okay, I'm gonna flip our ribbon back that way and lay down another strip of hot glue. This glue gun is really just wanting to do what it wants to do. So I'm just gonna let it do it. Then we push it down, push it down in the center to make that ribbon pop up. Now, flip our ribbon back. And we're going to put another seam of hot glue and we have reached the other end of the ribbon also. We'll flip our ribbon over and down. Go in with your tool and push it down in that seam so that it just makes that pop right up there. Okay, and we do have a little extra on the end, so we're gonna give it a little dab and push it down. There we are. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. So, so pretty. There is the top. It is so pretty. Oh, you can put labels in here. It's actually indented. So you could put labels in here. And here's our ribbon covering up that seam. And there's another spot for labels. I don't know if you can see it very well, but yeah, you can. And then there's no, oh my, very pretty ribbon and the bottom. And there's another space where you can label it. Uh, maybe you could get some of that chalk paint, put that in there. I think that this is a winner. So if you liked this DIY, give me a thumbs up. Give this a chance, try it. See if you like it. I really enjoyed doing this with you guys. I hope that I did okay. I know I shouldn't keep saying that, but I worry that, you know, I want my channel to go far. And I, I would love for you guys to stick around. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you think about our tiered apothecary jar. Tell me what you thought about it down in the comments. I am curious to know what you think. Now, I will be having another DIY tomorrow. Yes, I will. This one, we are going to bling out Kleenex boxes. Not the ones you buy from the store. You buy the Kleenex box in the store and then you bring it home and you put it in your Kleenex box holder. Mm -hmm. We are going to bling those out tomorrow. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to watch my other videos pay attention to the i cards because i always have them up there they may lead you to another video that you might like let me know what you thought 
I'd be kind of curious to know. My only other suggestion on this is I find over time hot glue is not a permanent solution. So you could use E6000 and hot glue. Hot glue will set it immediately and E6000 dries over time. And that is like the super, super, super glue. So I forgot to mention that, although I don't have any on hand. Otherwise I would have used it and showed you guys. I don't have it. <laughs> I forgot it from the store. So anyway, if you like the Apothecary jars, give me a shout out on the bottom in the comments. Let's have a discussion. Let me know what you thought. Y'all have a good night. And thank you so much for sticking around. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to share my videos. Put them all over. Have a good night, y'all. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay.